Welcome back, our most valued viewers, to historic facts in a nutshell. Today we are going back to early Celtic England and the story of one courageous warrior woman who raised an army to fight against the Roman Empire despite all odds. But before we dive in today, a personal message for you. If you like the video that you are about to see, subscribe to us and write the comment, I subscribed, and we will do our utmost to personally respond to every comment that we get. Now let's dive in. Boudica, the enigmatic Celtic queen, emerged into a world where the destiny of her homeland, ancient Britain, was being inexorably shaped by the powerful Roman Empire. Born around 25 to 30 AD, little is known about her early life, but her birthplace was likely amongst the Iceni tribal lands, which is modern-day Norfolk and Suffolk, England, a tribe inhabiting the fertile lands of East Anglia. These were turbulent times as Britain was becoming a Roman province. At a young age, Boudica entered into a marriage that would significantly influence the course of her life. Her husband, Prasutagus, was the king of the Iceni, and his alliance with Rome was seen as a strategy to ensure a degree of autonomy. However, this alliance would soon prove to be fraught with consequences. In 43 AD, the Romans, under Emperor Nero, invaded Britain. Prasutagus was allowed to retain his kingship, but after his death, the Romans showed their true colors. Roman authorities disregarded Celtic customary laws and plundered the Iceni lands, treating Boudicca and her people with contempt. The breaking point came when Boudicca and her daughters were attacked and publicly flogged by the Romans. Boudicca's spirit, a concoction of resilience and anger, propelled her into the role of a fierce leader. In 60 or 61 AD, she galvanized various Celtic tribes, uniting them in a common cause, the rebellion against Roman oppression. Her army, which historians estimate to have been over 100,000 strong, became a formidable force. The rebellion was marked by its fury and determination. Camulodunum, a Roman colony, was laid to waste, and Londinium, the heart of Roman commerce in Britain, saw its streets run red with blood. Verulamium, another Roman town, suffered a similar fate. The annals of history describe fires and lamentations that swept across the Roman province. Despite initial victories, the climactic battle between Boudicca's Celtic forces and the disciplined legions of Roman governor Suetonius Paulinus proved to be pivotal. The exact location of this encounter remains a mystery. But it was here that the Roman war machine prevailed, dealing a crushing blow to the Celtic rebellion. The ultimate fate of Boudicca remains shrouded in the mists of history. Some accounts suggest that, faced with the prospect of Roman capture and humiliation, she may have taken her own life to preserve her honor, though this remains a topic of debate among historians. Boudicca's legacy is one of indomitable spirit, courage, and defiance. Her story reverberates through time, a testament to the human capacity for resistance in the face of oppression. If you liked this episode, please don't forget to subscribe to us and comment, I subscribe, and we will do our utmost to respond to you. Also like and hit that notification bell so that you never miss an episode. Until next time, take care. And thank you for watching.